Hi, this is John again for Outstanding Poker. I've got like a fairly interesting video for you. And it's to do with a uh, range building and hand analysis. Because I think a lot of beginning players kind of really struggle with uh, with the hand analysis aspect. Um, because there's not really that many videos about analyzing hands and, su and such like. And uh, so it can, can be a bit difficult to uh, get a grasp of it. And uh, range building as well is kind of, uh, how can I explain it? It can be very difficult when you're first starting out because you get better, better at it with experience and uh, and along the way you're just going to make lots of mistakes because people just do some, well you get good players that actually mix up the range uh, for deception and you can end up making a mistake regarding their range then and you just have to try and learn from that and then you just come up against some uh, players that just do some crazy stuff as well so it's very difficult to pinpoint their range and just have to uh, make some assumptions as best as you possibly can. So at first I'll just look at uh, how I would use Holder Manager 2 to look for some like, or to figure out some basic uh, ranges like for instance if you want to know what type of hands somebody is limping with. And I, I played this hand with this, uh, this guy. I'm going to be looking at it later. And I've only got 184 hands on him, so it's going to be quite difficult to pinpoint ranges with this guy too. So if you want to know what hands he's going to be limping with, as you can see, I've got a limp uh, start here, which goes street by street. So let's say if you want to know what it was, I mean, he's limp, he's, he's all over the place, so he doesn't really bother with position. So he's limping 21% from under the gun and then he's raising 2%. So if he was trying to find that range in Pokestore, you'd obviously have to look at 21% and then take out now another 2%. And then it'd be something like that. And you just kind of have to, you can use Hold and Manage the Opponents tab just to see what hands he's been limping with. I'll be using that later, but that's the kind of the basic thing you'll need to do regarding a limping range like that. Let's see, see what else we've got. I mean, obviously pre ra raised by position, it's really cool if you've got uh, a pop-up with all this, and I think uh, Holds Manager 2 standard pop-up will definitely have something like that. And then three bet by position, that's pretty important, because obviously this guy's only three bet from the blinds. And what an interesting thing to look out for is, um, like for instance, Against decent players, especially, they'll have a three bet range from a big blind of about 8.3%. And then some people, they raise from under the gun and think, and look at his 8.3%. Oh, I think, oh my god, he's a he's three bet and 8.3%. So I can easily get it in with my jacks or ace queen or whatever. But obviously, a good player will probably only be three betting like. 2% versus under the gun, but then he'll be 3 betting 12% uh, versus the button and stuff like that. So that's going to change dramatic, dramatically as uh, uh, regarding where the original razor was. Similarly with uh, this call open raise here, if somebody's raised pre-flop under the gun and, uh, and a decent player is considering calling on the button, it'll be calling a lot narrower than if... Uh, a player is pre-flop raised from a cutoff against him, then on the button is going to be like three betting wider, is going to be calling wider and stuff like that. So you have to be careful with some of these stats. I've got this, this uh, fairly big pop-up for, for other post-flop stuff. And this is where I've got some different stuff here where it's, you can see this stat here. Oh, it's just a bit lower down there. Three betting in position. So this is when somebody's three betting from the button or maybe three betting from the cutoff. So let me think about this stat. So versus early position, three betting in position. So that could mean three betting from the middle position, cutoff and the button. And this percentage here is when is three betting in position versus a middle position raise from either the cutoff or the button. It's fairly complicated. I think there's a there's a way to make different stats where you can actually just um, using notecad it, or there might even be some 
stats on hold and manager two now where you can actually just look for stats where you your button is a three betting against the cutoff or three betting versus middle position or three betting versus early position. It's just something you need to watch out for. Um, and obviously, your full to three bet that's going to differ fairly dramatically. This guy hasn't, it's just not got, I ain't got enough stats on this guy, so a lot 